Hi friends, I'm Anzur Siddiqui, a SQL Server DBA. Today we are going to uh, see uh, a SQL Server maintenance uh, plan. So a SQL Server maintenance plan is a very useful and simple way to create automated maintenance plans to optimize and back up your database regularly. You can perform uh, database maintenance and optimize your database by creating simple workflow of tasks uh, with graphical user interface in SQL Server Management Studio. We are going to create a maintenance plan for uh, for uh, full database backup and we'll set schedule in design window. So if you're a database administrator or developer who wants to maintain and optimize your database in quick way, then here is a tool for you. Okay, so what I'll do, I'll go to my SQL Server Management Studio okay so go to object explorer then go to your uh, management expand it then you can see maintenance plan is there okay I'll just refresh it right now I don't have any maintenance plan created so you can create it by right click on it new maintenance plan so it will ask you to give the name uh, for a uh, maintenance plan I'll give full backup then click OK it will open a uh, design window okay and you can see left side toolbox has open okay so we'll use these other tasks and if suppose uh, if you're opening this and this you are not able to see this toolbox then you can go to view menu and from view menu you can uh, select toolbox or you can just press ctrl alt x okay so as we have to create a full backup so uh, we have uh, this maintenance plan task backup database task okay we have other option also pointer backup task ba backup database task check database integrity task then execute sql server agent job execute tsql statement task history cleanup task then maintenance cleanup task okay so you can go through all this you can create uh, it by yourself and do the practice then you have notify operator task rebuild indexes if you want to rebuild all the indexes then you can select this if you want to reorganize it use this you can also shrink database task and update statistics so very useful and in a very short time you can create it okay so just click on this drag and drop on design window now you can see this uh, task has come this task you can see database select one or more and type and your know, everything this setting is there what you have to do and this is not configured so uh, it is showing as red right click on it click on edit now you have connection okay you can select your connection from new window you can uh, give your connection name or select or enter server name and all these details I'll use my default one local server connection then you can uh, select backup type backup type you have full differential or transaction log then you can select database so in database uh, options you have all database to choose you can select this all database so it will uh, backup all the database of uh, your instance then you have if you want to back up only system databases master model msdb uh, database then you can select this okay and you have all user database other than master your system database then you can select this option or else uh, what you can do you can choose custom database okay you can these database you can check mark this and click particular database so i'm going to use this option okay i'll take backup of client info then if suppose if you're selecting all databases then you can check mark this ignore database whether state is not online okay so that if uh, if any uh, database is not online so it will and your job will be successful now I will select my client info database and click on OK now you have option backup component okay database and file and file groups then you also have you if you want copy and only backup then you can choose this uh, if you want to set date for your expiry okay backup set expiry then you can choose this backup to disk or tape I will select disk 
then you have backup database across one or more files so you can choose this option as if your database size is uh, big then you can choose this option and divide it now I'll go to a uh, folder option for backup I'll go to this is my backup I'll click OK so my backup will be created at this point uh, on this folder see backup and uh, if you want to uh, verify backup integrity you can check this okay it's uh, up to you then compression level if you want you can set compress backup so if we uh, did all the settings in this now I'll just click on OK now you can see red mark has gone okay now what I'll do I'll uh, schedule the job okay so you can do the same from here uh, this is schedule job new job schedule you can give the name by default it will take your database name dot subplan one then schedule type your job is enabled and recurring uh, weekly or whatever you want daily weekly or monthly you can set it okay so I'll uh, put for weekly Sunday at 23 and 59 then I'll select OK now my scheduled is run ok scheduled is set and now what I'll do after this uh, I have set all the design window so I'll save it ok as you can see right now I don't have any maintenance plan I don't have uh, jobs ok for this backup I'll just save it see now this full backup dot subplan one has come and if you'll refresh maintenance plan now you have one full backup maintenance plan available so this is very simple and easy so that uh, you can uh, use all these tasks and uh, utilize it for your database maintenance okay if you like my video you can subscribe to my youtube channel okay or you can uh, visit to my website sqlsolo.log.com and you can subscribe to a newsletter join me on facebook or youtube if you have any query you can send to me okay thank you